Okay, so we've got the Chanel 19. This is in the large, of course, it's a black with that uh, multi-tone hardware versus the YSL puffer bag. And this is the black on black. And I honestly don't know what leathers these both are. I wanna say goat, but I will definitely check and put it up here or down below or both. Um, so we're gonna get into this, guys, because I know um, I had a request um, to have this done. As you can see, I haven't used this one yet because the tag is still on, but it's gorgeous. So I can't wait to start using it. I love black on black. I think it's absolutely stunning. Um, and yeah, I wanna get into the measurements, um, the details of each bag, what fits inside each, and we're gonna get started right away. All right, so for this puffer bag, of course you see that it's got the two straps. You can make it into one crossbody strap. So you can wear it over the shoulder, cross body, crook of the arm, you know the, you know the, the spiel. Okay, so we are looking at 10 and a half inches in length. We are looking at, and this does not have a pocket on the back. We're looking at about almost, uh, probably eight and a quarter inches um, in the length. And at the very base, it comes in and goes down, so I'm gonna go at the largest portion of the bottom. You're looking at about four inches. So I will leave all this information down below. For the Chanel 19 bag, we have got, oops, we're looking at 12 inches in length. I'm gonna go all, should I go, let's just go from the top part. You're looking at eight inches in height, and then at the very bottom base, it looks about the same, but we'll see. It's shy of, it's three and three, uh, three and three quarters inches, shy of uh, four inches. Um, so let's give you a close up. Let me do the strap drop first, you guys. So I think this one we said, I remember this on the last one was like 18. So yeah, this is about 18 inches. And this one is, yeah, about 19 and a half inches. So this one is long, almost 20 inches. I would say 20. All right, so let's get a close up of these, you guys. So this, of course, oh, it's so beautiful. Um, has the two straps, like I told you. You can wear it over the shoulder, which is beautiful. You can wear it cross body, and I'm 5'3", you guys, and I love where it sits. Let's see how it looks. And then, of course, you can wear it like this, obviously, if you wanted to. Just hold it like that, and then like this. The Chanel 19 bag has a just set in place handle. And then of course, which you can wear various ways. Of course you can wear it over the shoulder. Love where it sits over the shoulder. And then I love this crossbody too. It's a little, it sits a little bit higher, but let me show you. Let's put both of them on. So this one comes all the way down, right there. And of course this one is much higher, or so it looks like in the camera. But they're both so comfortable, you guys, extremely comfortable. Let's take this off and put it over the shoulder. So this is over the shoulder. And then of course, you can wear it like this. I don't think there's any way you can finagle this to go any shorter like this one. But that's awesome. So yeah, this one does not have a pocket on the back. This one of course has that large pocket on the back. There's a close up. It's just gorgeous. This is so light. It's it's just it's awesome. Here is the interior. Let's 
stuffing out of it. Just a nice black hole with a zip pocket here. Move this one. So I'm sure everything will be able to fit in there. And it's just a magnetic closure right there. And it's a pretty, pretty nice closure. This, of course, is that turn lock closure, synonymous with Chanel. And the interior is that gorgeous, gorgeous, I guess it's red. This is the bag I'm using right now, you guys. So what we're going to do is, did I do all the measurements? I think I did. Um, so I guess from here, let's measure just on this one. For, from here to here, so you guys that need that information will know how it would fit on you. So it's right at 11 inches. So for that drop, it's right at 11. And then for this one, if you're gonna wear it like on the crook, it's a good four, four and change, four and a half. All right, so everything I have in here and I have plenty of room for more and you guys these are the squishiest softest I'm so enjoying these bags I have three right now they're amazing I have the denim the navy blue and this one and this one is a large and I have two in the small Louie Louie sit back papa you're gonna fall sit back baby there we go anyway so we've got he's so cute Louie all right so I love the way these smell to you guys. I know that's so crazy. Um, but here is the St. Laurent little packet there. And my battery's going to die again. Why? All right. So I'm going to change out batteries, but I'm going to take everything out of here and put it in here. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I had to change my battery out. But here is the um, iPhone XS Max. And I'm going to stick this in. Baby, you can't jump. You want to get down? Come on, guys. Come here. Come here. There we go, big boy. Good job. All right, so that's going to go inside. This is beautiful. I love. Okay. Let me get on with this. All right, so I have my Chanel wallet, um, compact wallet or a card holder. This is what it looks like. It's got the one flap here and then the two right here. It fits so many cards. I love it. And then it's got the card, the pocket in the back. So that's going to go inside as well. Then I've got the Zoe wallet. And I will show you all of this when I get it in. I've got my six ring key holder, which I take on the daily. So that's what it looks like right now. Everything's in there. My sunglasses. There's so much room, holy cow. My mask, my reading glasses, and my lipstick. So that is everything, and I'm sure I could fit some more in. Uh, maybe I couldn't because of the way that closes. But let's see. How does that look? It looks pretty good. Not heavy at all, you guys. Not heavy at all. That is awesome. And you guys, you've already seen what fits in here as well um i know that the agendas would fit in there you just kind of have to gauge what you would put in once you had your agendas whether it was the mm or the pm agenda the pm is super small so you could fit everything and then some and then of course uh, full-size wallets you could fit in here obviously in both bags um yeah i mean i think that's it you guys they are both fantastic this is beautiful let's give you a close-up of each of these again. So pretty. 
So tell me what bag is your favorite, guys. If you own these, let me know how you're liking them. Um, but they are absolutely gorgeous. And I do feel like they serve um, different functions. Um, I just, I do just use the crap out of these, like I said. I just, I adore these. But I really want to get some use out of this because I think it's absolutely beautiful. And price point, you guys, as you guys know, this is double the price of this if not a little bit over double which is crazy so i'm really really anxious to see i'm really curious to see what the wear and tear is on both um and gauge if it's worth the the price tag um but there you are you guys i hope i didn't forget anything if you guys have any questions as always please leave those down below or you can email me uh dm me i've got all my information on every one of my videos in the description box don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, guys. And if you have any requests, leave those down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next one. Take care.